Ben Roethlisberger basically says he's retiring uh, after this season without saying it, inviting former teammates and family to come watch what could be potentially his last game at Heinz on Monday Night Football against the Cleveland Browns. I mean, just an absolutely storybook style ending. The team obviously wishes they had a much better record this season and could do these things differently. Zito and Diggs made this uh, made this graphic. All right, thank Thank you, Savage. People call him Seven. Oh wow. Come Ian. Oh wow. Ian. In sports, he wears the number seven, Ian. This no, is like, just yeah, just natural to call him seven, you know what I mean? What are you hearing about that? Does everybody in the building already kind of know that this was gonna yeah. happen? Was this the case? Yeah. Yeah, I think when they did the contract and he accepted the pay cut, I think everyone knew this would be it. And, you know, Ben is he's he's awesome and he's got a million lives and in a weird way, like I will kind of miss him. He's been on the injury report, I think, every day over the last two decades. Um, he has been very upfront with his injuries, very open. And as someone who covers a lot of injuries, I've done a lot of injury reporting on Ben Roethlisberger. He also says what he thinks. Uh, and, you know, I think the way he came into the league, the troubles he faced were massive and have been covered very well by people before I really started this. But he seems to have turned into someone who treats people with a lot of respect and does it the right way, it seems like. Um, and he's been a great quarterback. And I think for the Steelers, there's a lot of reasons why they have been consistently good every year. I mean, they're not even really that good this year, and they're still pretty good, and they still have a chance at the playoffs. Like, he's so been amazing. Um, I would say next year, my guess is they go after a veteran so they don't have to restart because they have so much – there already so much infrastructure like that is such a desirable place for a veteran quarterback to go i think yeah pittsburgh used to be the place that i would vacation in the off season obviously yeah. that's where you want to go to and, you know it kind of toughens you up as soon as you land there ain't that right foxy 100 oh, percent. i love that place see foxy's from detroit which everybody says is a gritty city you yeah. land in pittsburgh you go no, oh, this place birth grit, basically. 100%. This is the home of Built the, the nation. Yeah, this this is the father of the yep. city of the entire country. You're welcome for the steel that built your cities that are definitely gritty and rust belt and blue collar. Yep. But the reason why it's called rust belt is because rust ends up on what? Cars. Steel. Steel. Uh, well, not stainless, but uh, Well, we didn't create that. I mean that was probably created somewhere in a hill in a I like Pittsburgh. What's that, buddy? Okay. I like Pittsburgh. You're fucking right, you do, Ian. Yeah, Ian. What do you say? What does that even mean? Is that a surprise? Yes, you like Pittsburgh. Obviously, you like no. Pittsburgh. I mean, I don't know if we've talked about this. Two, my two favorite things about Pittsburgh. One, you get to drive through mountains, mm-hmm. which is very cool. Yeah, you yeah, don't get I'm, to do that in a lot. Very of cool. I wish we had more lanes. I mean, in those, in those mountains, it would have been a little <laughs> right. bit better forethought there early if they would have made a couple more. Mountains lanes. are what they are. I mean, so. Mm-hmm. And then the other thing is the, tunnel could be the way they have. I mean, we talked about this, I'm sure, but like. The way they do sandwiches, I just so appreciate. You just take everything, you just put it on a sandwich, and then the sandwich is basically the whole city is based around the sandwich. It's it's genius. I just I Fucking respect it relax. so much. Okay, the sandwich was <laughs> created on. because of the steel mill workers didn't have enough time to have lunch because they were birthing America. So they put the entire lunch on the one sandwich. So you're saying the city revolves around the sandwich. You're close. You're just missing one chapter. The sandwich was created because say it. Say it. You it. created the city or Fucking the world? Fucking steel mills, dude. Jeez, Jeez, Jeez. You would never get it, okay? Play like, tennis somewhere, please. Like Jeez steel, Louise. Steel workers. Thank you, steel workers. Thank you. Oh, Thank okay. you, Thank Pittsburgh. You. Steel workers. Great job. Let's talk a little bit about the NFL. Uh, it's official. Big Ben's last game is on Monday, AJ. You played against Big Ben Roethlisberger. What are your thoughts on how he's going out? And do you think with the victory parade, the celebration that's going to be Monday Night Football in Pittsburgh against the Browns, is warranted, or do you think we should wait till after the season for all this stuff? I don't know. I mean, I, I understand trying to honor the dude. Yeah, I've known of Ben since he was in high school. Played against him forever. My brother played with him in college. Like, played against him many times. Played against him in the Super Bowl. So, yeah, like, I've seen him in his magic up close and personal. I think Diggs is doing a good job online. I don't know if Nick's doing the same, like, showing 
their love that they have for Ben and everything he's done for that whole organization. Yeah, I think they're at the stage where it's like four or five years removed already. You know, like most fan bases, whenever somebody leaves and then time kind of heals all wounds. And I'm not saying there's any wounds with the Yenzers and Ben Roethlisberger, but I think a lot of people are like, this should have happened, you know, because – Yenzers have a high expectation for the Steelers. This team currently stinks. He's not playing anywhere near the level he used to play, which is not that long ago, which was very, very, very high. So I think like two years in, there's going to be a lot more appreciation for what Ben Roethlisberger did for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Especially if they struggle at the quarterback position for the next two or three. Oh, yeah. yeah, I remember how good we had it when we were just bitching. That would be a lot of conversations. Yeah. But Tone has... A massive amount of love for Seven always yep. has for, as a football player. And I think, yeah, are you going to get a little emotional, you think, whenever this whole thing uh, comes to an already, end? Already did this morning. You know, I I thought I was ready for it because, like, all season. Are all, you being serious or not? Yes, right? I'm being 100% serious. Okay. I thought I was seri- I thought I was ready for it. Uh, and then, like, the news today, like, it just kind of hits you. And this guy's been my quarterback for fucking 18 years and 18 winning seasons. He's, my, people talk about Tomlin not having a losing season. Neither has fucking Ben. Two-time Super Bowl, fucking, he's, he's done it all for us. He provided me with so much happiness. And AJ's right, like, especially, like, the next quarterback, he's got no fucking chance, dude. Like, well, we don't know how it's going to be. Maybe Kirk Cousins, maybe Baker Mayfield. Not, no, neither of those Maybe, guys. Maybe, you know, a veteran quarterback who's going to be on Mario. Maybe Mariota. Mm-hmm. Hey, who knows? Timmy Tebow, maybe. Maybe Tebow Ooh. if he comes back. Well, uh, Pat, you remember what it was like growing up in Pittsburgh when you had the, the Cordell Stewart's who you thought was going to be a guy. Oh. That didn't work out. We've talked to Cordell before. Tom Zach. Tom Zach. Neil O'Donnell. Uh, Neil O'Donnell. Don't all Tom Bobby Brister. Tommy, Tommy Maddox. Maddox was good. Yeah. Hey, Tommy Maddox was quite a character. He got he, Wally Pipped. He could yeah. sling the rock, but when Ben Roethlisberger comes in as a young guy and just slings it all over and then wins Super Bowls, Tommy Maddox is an afterthought <laughs> at this point. He's Drew Bledsoe in this entire story, but there was no dynasty that really took off off the Steelers, even though incredible success. It was at the same time mm-hmm. as the New England Patriots. I wonder what Ben's feeling. You think Ben knew this was his last year when he came into the year? Do you think there was any chance he was going to go on? Do you think he's emotional about this, or you think this is just classic Ben? No, I think he's definitely probably uh, emotional about it. Who knows going into the season? I, I would assume he went into the season thinking it could be his last year, but he was probably hoping, hey, maybe uh, if I get this thing going the right direction, maybe I can squeak another year out. Okay, so they're doing that wide receiver, number 11, uh, Chase Claypool. Chase comes running out. <laughs> At tight end, rookie Pat Fryermuth. And for the last time ever, two-time ba 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 champion Ben Roethlisberger. He'll come do his little trot out. You know the way he runs now with this whole. I mean, you know what I mean. That place will. That place will be. Looks kind of like your Carson Wentz, how you lumber around, bro. Well, that's what he. That's that is how Ben is though. Ben is yeah. just getting one foot in front of the other at this point. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's gonna run out this thing. Will we see tear? I bet we. I bet, sure. I bet sure. you there will be. Not just if they intro. You think they'll intro him like that when they like list his resume? No. That that's a tough deal to come out and try to play a game after. Oh, yeah. Well, when you get in, introduced last, it's kind of like without reading the entire. You know what I mean? Like without reading the entire. It's gotta be weird for him. It's gotta be really weird for him. That's I don't know. I wonder how he's feeling. Because he'll do the. I assume he'll do yeah. like the "I love you" thing as he's trotting out there or whatever. There'll probably be moments during the game. Like he'll <sighs> once the game gets going cool. Hopefully he starts fast and everything. And then there might be little lulls and in, in you think they'll show like little video packages throughout the game oh, like yes. during TV timeouts? Oh, and he's gonna try what to not watch those? Because I remember when Edge uh Edger and James was playing for the Cardinals, he came back to play against the Colts, and Jim Mercy loves Edger and James. So at, I don't know if it was at the first quarter break or whatever it was, they had an entire <laughs> montage of Edger and James being an absolute stud for the Colts. And I remember watching it, and Edge is like one of the coolest dudes of all time, so he did a whole thing, you know. But I remember watching it, like, oh, I think that would make me a little emotional, like, if I was, you know, in the middle of this. But once again, I'm not somebody that matters on a football field. So I guess that it's, you know, like, if they ever did that for you, would that be something you'd get emotional or you would just have to block it out, I guess, because at that moment you're just, I got to go no, run my face at somebody. It'd be hard for me to block it out, yeah. I don't think I could. Knowing yeah. Ben feels like he'd, he'd peak. Feels like he'd pretend he'd not to. watch, but he'd be peaking up there. He said it's going to be one of the most important games of his career. So I'll be excited. I'm, I'm excited to see if – for uh, Renegade, they normally—that's what I'm saying. They normally go def- all defensive highlights. I'd be 
I, I hope they go all Ben highlights for right Yeah, because the defensive highlights are like that you got jacked up, mm-hmm. basically. You know, Pittsburgh, when they're not on TV, all those things that people are getting fined for are being run on the jumbo truck yeah. to get Pittsburgh going while Brett Michaels is, you know, doing. Oh, my, I'm a is Brett going to be there? For my life from the law, home of the law. That's what Brett Michaels. Yeah, Brett Michaels gonna be, Ben Roethlisberger said he's inviting family and friends and old teammates. Brett Michaels is all three of those. Yeah. <laughs> he's an old teammate. That's right. I didn't think that's where that was going. Well, didn't he say he's going to have Brett Michaels induct him into the Hall of Fame when he, when he no. goes in? Hey, maybe. Jeez. I mean, imagine he's gonna, Brett Michaels. He's going to sing him in. That's what I say. He comes sliding in. You know, I'm he's still gonna, not ruling out Ben riding out of the tunnel on the Harley with awesome. Michaels on the back playing Standing. guitar. Standing. Like, you know how those cops stand on top of motorcycles when they're doing the traffic stuff? <laughs> Brett Michaels is going to be standing on the back of the Harley. <laughs> All right, guys. It's fucking... Let's not lose our legitimacy here, please. They should let Ben throw the ball every single that, play on I hope, offense. Uh, ben will wow. have Ben throw the ball. <laughs> this <has> been, <laughs> what are we even? This has been going around. Like people have been saying on the internet, on Twitter, like they hope this is like Colby's last game where Ben throws yes. the ball 75 times.